सो हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज कुशल सरकार फ्रॉम फोडू क्लब एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट काउंसलिंग एंड प्रिफरेंस लिस्ट ऑन हाउ टू एक्चुअली डिसाइड की विच ब्रांच एंड विच कैंपस टू प्रिफर ओवर पर्टिकुलर ब्रांच और कैंपस एंड वॉट शुड बी और ओवरऑल माइंड सेट वाइल डिसाइडिंग इट बिकॉज इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर्स वेन यू सिट फॉर काउंसलिंग एंड for your overall life ahead because you are going to spend 4 or 5 years of your life in a particular campus in a particular branch so it is very very important for you to make an informed decision about that particular campus and a particular branch and whether or not you want it or not otherwise your life might become hell yes if you take the wrong branch or wrong campus you may not like it you might have a certain expectation from a particular branch or a campus but when you actually go to the campus it might completely be different and you will have no other choice but to continue that for the next 4 or 5 years of your life so in this particular video we'll be talking about on campus फोर टू फाइव ईयर्स वाले जितने भी प्रोग्राम है उसके बारे में विल नॉट टॉक अबाउट बिट्स टू प्लस टू आर एम आई टी वाले प्रोग्राम्स फॉर दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ डिटेल्ड वीडियो एंड बेस्ड अपॉन योर प्रेफरेंसेज वेदर और नॉट यू आर ऑप्टिंग फॉर इट और नॉट यू कैन फिल आउट द प्रेफरेंस अकॉर्डिंगली स्पेसिफिकली फॉर बिट्स इंटरनेशनल टू प्लस टू प्रोग्राम्स वी हैव ऑल्सो लॉन्च अ प्रॉपर सपोर्ट सिस्टम प्रोग्राम इन विच यूल गेट प्रॉपर गाइडेंस विद डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एंड द काउंसलिंग प्रोसेस एज वेल एज द गाइडेंस फॉर आइल्स प्रिपरेशन एज वेल एज अ प्रॉप per IELTS test series so you are easily able to clear the IELTS criteria that is needed for you to continue in this bits 2 plus 2 program so now let's talk about counseling and the preference order now most of the people what they do is that they give you a preference order or preference list now i believe that each student is different and everyone's requirement is completely different so you need to decide based on the factors what is best for you and not a random list that is being given by someone else so that is the exact motive of this video to tell you about all the factors that you need to keep in your mind while deciding the perfect list for yourself so we'll talk about branch we'll talk about campus so let's start with the branch now while selecting the branch your perspective and your approach should be very very clear now for 90% of the students even 95% of the students it is clear that their first and the foremost thing that is important for them is placements right so for anyone who is just targeting placements and who does not care about anything literally does not care about anything the only thing they want is the best placement possible after 4 or 5 years then the preference list should be very normal as recommended by everyone you put cse at first then you put mnc then you put all the circuit branches ece triple e then eni then you go for mechanical chemical then civil so this is generally a normal cliche preference order looks like in terms of placements now this branch order is perfect given that you are only targeting it placements and it is very very clear in your head but if you are let's say targeting finance then you can consider placing msc economics above cs or below cs whatever you feel is beneficial for you whether you want to study msc economics with computer science or you are comfortable with just studying computer science that is your personal call but let's say if you have interest in finance and you also want to study computer science with economics then you can consider putting msc economics at top of your list then some of you might also be very very interested in the core branches i know a lot of people who do not even fill computer science in their preference list but directly fill mechanical or chemical i know a friend of mine who scored 292 in bitsat and he still chose to study civil in pilani because he was interested in doing that so don't just listen to people randomly if you are interested in a particular branch and if you want to pursue that if you want to go in the core field then definitely you should consider that particular branch and not the hierarchy list that i mentioned previously now talking about interest it is also the point where a lot of students actually make a very big mistake they think oh mere ko to physics mein mechanics pasand hai bahut zyada pasand hai so let's take mechanical branch but after you take mechanical branch you'll realize mechanics or mechanical ka dur dur tak koi lena dena nahi hai ओके सो जस्ट बेस्ड ऑन इंट्यूशन ओके ये ब्रांच ऐसा होगा या इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स विल बी सो सिंपल लाइक करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मुझे तो किच ऑफ लॉ बहुत पसंद है वीट स्टोन ब्रिज बहुत पसंद है लेट्स टेक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डोंट मेक डिसीजन लाइक दिस बिकॉज द इंजीनियरिंग दैट यू स्टडी इज कंप्लीटली कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वॉट यू स्टडी इन जे 
right? It is very, very different. So the most important thing that I would like to suggest you if you are interested in pursuing a branch is that first go and do a proper research. You'll get short courses on YouTube. You'll get short courses on Udemy, Coursera, Free Ke wo courses. You can go and just explore those courses and then try to take an idea ki, okay, whether or not I like this particular thing or not, whether or not I'll be actually interested in this thing or not. So this is an important thing that you must do. Aise hi hawe mein mat sojo ki achha jai mein to ye cheez pasand thi, ab to pasand aayegi. Jaise kisi ko chemistry bahut pasand hai. So let's take chemical. But chemical engineering might be very different from the chemistry that you have studied in jai. So that is a very important point that you should keep in your mind. Let's say it is very, very clear for you that you want to do an MBA right after your engineering. Then the most important thing that matters is your CGPA. So you should consider taking a branch uh, in which it is relatively easier and the competition is less and you can easily get a good CGPA like civil, mechanical, chemical. In all these branches, it is relatively easier to get good grades. Again, go on LinkedIn, find people who are studying a particular branch in a particular campus, go message them, try to connect with them. Many of them will actually reply to you and you can ask your queries related to that branch in that campus and how easy it is to get good grades in that particular branch. So you'll get a proper idea when you'll actually put efforts into talking to people. Just like interest ki baat ki, so now there are a lot of MSc branches as well. A lot of people take MSc branches out of their interest. So you can definitely do that if you are interested in research and if you want to do an MSc degree along with your BE degree, then you can definitely consider that. But again, I would like to warn you is that you might think, okay, physics is my favorite subject in JE. I'll take MSc physics. But for most of you, it will turn out that this physics is very different from what I used to study. I absolutely hate this. Similarly with maths, a lot of students actually like maths and they end up taking MSc Mathematics. Let me tell you, MSc Mathematics is one of the most hectic branches. Let's say with MSc Maths, you end up getting a BE degree of Electronics branch. Let me tell you, your life is going to get very, very difficult because both of these branches are very heavy and very difficult to manage. Also, the maths that is being taught here is very, very abstract. So go and see the course details. You'll find everything in the Bitspelani website and in Google. Go and search there, see the course curriculum, do a proper research, see if you're actually interested in studying those topics or not, and then only make a call. Aisa mat socho ki jai mein ye pasand tha, to aage bhi ye cheez mere ko pasand aegi. That will be a blunder that you will do. All right, so this was all about branches. Keep all of these factors in your mind and then take a call. Now let's talk about campuses. Talking about placements, specifically IT placements, there is not a much of a difference in the three campuses. Placements are almost same in the three campuses. Thoda bahut farak aata hai average mein, median mein. Usse utta jada farak nahi padata hai. If you don't care at all ki kis campus mein jau, to then to fill pilani Hyderabad, Goa because Hyderabad is getting a little better than Goa. Hyderabad is slowly becoming an IT hub and within next four to five years, uh, the tech industry in Hyderabad is going to boom a lot. So you can consider doing that. A lot of people look down at the Hyderabad campus, but that is absolutely not true. Hyderabad is literally performing very, very well and is giving a very tough competition to the Pilani campus. So let's say CGPA matters to you or you want to do an MBA or you want to go to abroad, then which campus is the best? So considering uh, the amount of effort that is needed for you to score CGPA and this is absolutely, I'm being 100% honest, it's the easiest in Hyderabad campus and almost the same efforts for Goa and Pilani campus. Generally, people say that grading is Goa is a bit bad, but you can also consider that though the grading in Pilani might be good, but the competition there is insane. There is immense competition. Let's say you are taking an MSc branch and you're particularly targeting computer science, then to get computer science in Pilani campus, it will take you a lot of effort. You'll have to study a lot and give everything that you have. You can't be having fun in your first year. You'll have to study properly. Then only you'll be able to get computer science. Relatively, the competition is less in Goa and the least in Hyderabad campus. If you, let's say, choose an MSc degree in Hyderabad campus, it is much easier to get computer science. Talking about the campus, a lot of people actually talk about the size of the campus. It does not matter, trust me, that my campus is so big. What do you do with campus? Ka? You just have to make sure that all the facilities and the resources that you want are available or not. So 
all the facilities are available in all the three campuses you don't have to worry about all that you don't have to worry about the campus size goa being the smallest i feel is the best in terms of campus because everything is accessible everything is in a walking distance whereas in pilani everything is scattered cricket ground idhar hoga to football ground udhar hoga so though you also get to use cycles in pilani campus but i'm just saying that ki don't think much about the size of the campus that does not matter at all now let's talk about the campus life now there is obviously the clear winner campus life is going to be the best in goa and trust me i've lived it myself a lot of people say that goa mein masti nahi kar sakte tum campus ke andar hi rahoge but all of that is certainly not true it depends on you how much of the fun you want to have there will be club outings there will be uh, trek outings there will be outings with your friends you can explore a lot of different places in goa and have a lot of fun along with your academics in these four years of your college life so that is why goa is a clear winner then talking about hyderabad campus hyderabad campus is technically not in hyderabad but in sikandarabad and it is very distant from the main city so it's not that ki the main city will be very very accessible to you obviously it's going to be better from pilani in terms of ki tumhe bahar ghumne ko kuch to mil jayega at least सिटी लाइफ थोड़ी बहुत एक्सपीरियंस करने मिल जाएगी बिकॉज फ्रॉम पिलानी योर लाइफ इज गोइंग टू बी इन साइड दैट कैंपस कहीं भी जाना है तो यूल हैव टू गो टू इधर जयपुर और इधर यूल हैव टू गो टू दिल्ली सो दैट इज द मिनिमम डिस्टेंस यू विल हैव टू ट्रेवल फॉर एन आउटिंग इसके अलावा एवरी थिंग दैट यू डू इज इन साइड एंड ऑब्वियसली पिलानी इतना बड़ा होने के वजह से इट्स लाइक अ मिनी सिटी सो एवरी थिंग इज अवेलेबल इन साइड एंड इट इज ऑब्वियसली नॉट अ डाउन साइड बिकॉज इफ यू लुक इट in a positive angle the bonding which you have with your peers and your seniors in that closed environment is so strong that you end up making a lot of memories for your lifetime so the campus life that you get inside of the campus and not outside that is going to be the best in pilani campus and overall the campus life inside the goa and hyderabad campus आर ऑल्सो ग्रेट बट वही हो जाता है कि छुट्टी मिलने से छोटे छोटे ग्रुप ऑफ फ्रेंड्स गो फॉर आउटिंग एंड वो इंटरनल बॉन्डिंग कभी कभी शायद उतनी स्ट्रॉग नहीं हो पाती बट द क्लब्स एंड डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स म्यूजिक डांस एंड ऑल ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज जो भी एक कैंपस के इन साइड होती है दैट इज सेम फॉर ऑल द थ्री कैंपस देर इज नॉट अ मच ऑफ अ डिफरेंस यू ले बी एबल टू एन्जॉय ऑल ऑफ दैट irrespective of the campus that you choose now talking about peer group obviously based on the bitsat score the merit list and after interacting with so many students obviously the crowd and the most competitive a uh, crowd that you are going to get in pilani campus then in goa then in hyderabad that is something that you should certainly consider i am not saying that ki crowd jo tumhe hyderabad mein milega that is going to be very bad but this is a relative comparison between all the three campuses and agar ye cheez tumhare liye important hai to you can consider this factor a lot of parents specifically are concerned about the party culture of goa but let me tell you that it is not a very big thing you don't have to worry about that whatever happens in goa trust me all of those things happen in all of the engineering colleges across the country so it is certainly not that ki goa mein hai to kuch extreme ho raha hai it is with all the colleges of india you don't have to worry ki goa mein jaake kuch aisa extra ho jayega ya fir bachche bigad jayenge all of this is certainly not true especially if student is a girl then parents are more concerned about their safety trust me the campus is super super safe and you don't have to worry about anything else as i was talking about the non core placement opportunities in uh, finance uh, product management and different uh, non it branches it is better in pilani campus so if you are targeting if you are clear that you don't want to go into tech and you want to go into some other field then you should definitely prefer pilani campus over the other two campuses because the placement there is definitely better and the overall support system there is much better for the non core branches the overall support there is much better for these non core and non tech fields talking about professors now i genuinely believe that the professors doesn't matter all the three campuses have very great professors but at the end in college you will have to study by your own to get good grades the professor can't do much ultimately you will have to go and put in efforts anything that matters at the end exam ke pehle you will be opening youtube and you will study as you are doing right now for je and bits at way hone wale a lot of people have different misconception about ki yaar ye campus ka startup culture acha hai ye college ka startup culture acha hai but let me tell you culture and all it does not matter that much ultimately what matters is that whether or not you are putting in efforts to build something theek hai culture and the alumni network is overall same for everyone for all the three campuses so it does not matter that much kisi bhi campus se start karo the problems 
and the difficulties you'll face are going to be uh, mostly similar and it does not matter that much so if you are thinking ki pilani campus chal jata for startup culture nothing like that is going to happen until and unless you are willing to actually start something by your own and build if you have that thing in inside you you can do it in any of the campuses that is not a very big deal now before i end this video a very important thing to talk about right now is to tell you about how placements actually work at bits right so then you'll be able to make a proper a uh, decision in your mind on what is actually right for you ab maine bol to diya ki after computer science circuit branches mein there is a good scope for tech placements but you also need to consider that let's say a company comes they'll put a 7.5 cgpa cut off for computer science students and the same company will put 8 cgpa cut off for the electronic students if you do not have the particular uh, cgpa and you are not able to clear the cut off no matter how skilled you are no matter how good of a coder you are it will not matter to company and you will not be allowed to sit in the placements of that particular company this is also one of the uh, important things that you should keep in your mind that along with branch cgpa is also an important criteria when it comes to placements so i've told you all the factors that you need to consider for yourself before choosing uh, the particular branch and campus and deciding the preference list for yourself the only golden advice that i would like to give you is that don't listen to anyone कोई कोचिंग का टीचर बोल दिया ये ब्रांच ले ले तुम्हारे पापा मम्मी किसी से सुन के आ गए कि ये वाला ब्रांच ले ले डोंट लिसन टू ऑल दैट जस्ट डू व्हाट यू फील इज राइट फॉर यू राइट एंड व्हाट यू वांट लाइक फॉर मी आई नेवर वांटेड टू गो इन पिलानी कैंपस ठीक है इट वॉज क्लियर टू मी दैट आई विल ओनली गो टू गोवा कैंपस इट वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली क्लियर फॉर मी सो आई ओनली फील्ड गोवा कैंपस इन माई प्रेफरेंस लिस्ट no matter which branch i get it did not matter to me at all the only thing that i wanted is goa campus it was pretty clear to me so if that is something clear to you let's say you are getting uh, pilani computer science and goa computer science so if it is clear to you that you want to go to goa campus and not to pilani campus then please go to goa campus theek hai do not listen to anyone else because let's say when you are 50 years old and when you look back aisa nahi hona chahiye tumhe ye nahi lagna chahiye ki yaar goa campus chale jata wo college ke 4 saal mere bahut acche jate if i would have taken that decision right so this is just an example that i am giving to you so do what matters to you and what you are actually interested in and the factors that actually matter to you take a decision based on that